What's up guys? Welcome to your 51st Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me, Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up a menu for um, for a menu class for the most part. So what I want you guys to do first is right click on your resource folder and we're going to add a new folder to this that's going to hold all of our menus that we will create which will probably just be one. Again, make sure you select the resource folder and in all lowercase type menu. Hit finish. And then in our menu class, we're going to add an XML file to this. So we're going to go Android XML file, or you can go to other Android and then Android XML file. And this is just the same way we set up a layout. And generally, our layout would be clicked, but now as you can see, the menu is clicked. So it kind of knows what we're doing. And then we're just going to say uh, cool menu, something like that. Underscore menu dot XML. Again, all lowercase. Um, and then you'll save yourself some headaches. Now what we're going to do is just click over into the actual XML code instead of our layout like that. And within our menu, as, as before, we'd see like linear layout here. But now it knows that it's a menu as well. So we're going to set up some items within our menu. As you do the open or greater than sign, you can see it takes a group or an item. We're going to set up some items. First thing we want our item to have is a title. So instead of saying text equals, it's actually title when we're working with menus. And we're going to say about us, something like that. And then we also need to say Android ID. And we set this up just like every other time at plus ID forward slash. And then about us is what we're going to refer to our ID as. Then just to show you guys some other stuff, we can say Android and then. Uh, for example, numeric shortcut. If they have a keyboard on their phone, they could push, press like number one, two, three, or whatever we set this equal to, such as one. Uh, if they press the number one when our menu is inflated, it's going to select this item. And also, as well, you can do Android alphabetic shortcut equal like to A, which would be about us. It click this menu as well. So that's enough stuff within this menu or this item for the most part. So we're just going to copy that and create one more item and we're going to call this one preferences. And then for the ID we're going to say preferences and then just change I'm just going to delete these because I don't really care about those for the most part. My phone doesn't have a keyboard, it's just touch screen, so and my, my mouse keeps dying on me, so I uh, can't really select stuff as well. Alright, so there we go, um, got our two items set up, just exit out of there, and as you can see we have our menu called Cool Menu. Now I want you guys to open up the menu class that we set up, and as you guys noticed in the last tutorial, I haven't really thought through this whole tutorial series that much because I was getting that air and for this one we're kinda gonna get an air as well but it's not gonna be a big deal um, and I'm also gonna minimize all of these methods within here and our variables and you can do that right here by these buttons next to our blocks of code and just minimize it then minimize our on create method minimize our on list item click method and it kinda cleans up code so they're still there obviously so you can you know maximize and minimize Then we're just gonna go within this bracket here and we're gonna right click and we're gonna go down to uh, source again override implement methods and not under it's not under a list activity it's under a regular activity we have a method called on options um, what is it on create options menu let's look for, yeah that's yeah, right here sorry on create options menu and that's where we're gonna set up our menu for the most part as you can see it takes a menu variable within its parameters and this is where I said I kinda wasn't thinking for the most part wasn't thinking through and so basically all it does is it defines a menu variable called menu lowercase and as you can see it has some the Android dot view so it's kinda more specific because if we didn't include that for example like this 
um, what it be referring to is this class that we set up called menu which is not what we want uh, so we probably should have labeled this class to something different like my menu or something because there's an actual class called menu from the Android SDK so thankfully it kinda imports that for us as well it's gonna know it's talking about the SDK menu class not our menu class and then uh, it's gonna set up this variable menu that we can work with but we aren't gonna really worry about that now what I want you guys to do um, is this is pretty important for now so delete this return um, for this first line of code that most likely got imported delete that otherwise we're gonna get an error and uh, I'm just gonna leave it there to show you guys because a lot of times people like watch the tutorials and they get an error and they don't know where they messed up so I'll show you to you guys one more time that we need to delete that what we're gonna set up within our bracket is something called a menu inflator and this is gonna inflate our menu for the most part so we're gonna say menu inflator and we're gonna say blow up I don't know something like that again we have to import our menu inflator class so we can use its sweet methods and we're just gonna use a method called get menu inflator so it's get menu inflator this will kind of just be a method that we can use so now we can say blow up dot inflate which is a method from the menu class um, or menu inflator class and as you can see it takes a uh, resource menu item and also a menu item as well so our resource menu item is what we just set up in that menu class so we're going to say r dot menu for into the menu folder and our resources and then cool menu and we're good for our first parameter again our second parameter it gave us some data we're going to use that data that gives us and they label that data menu all lowercase so that's what we're using there um, and basically all we have to do now is get rid of that error because uh, again if you guys weren't paying attention this is where we fix this so um, just delete the return and then down below uh, we're gonna say return uh, true and then a semicolon and basically we have our menu inflator working and I'll show you what that looks like so we run the program or run the application and again uh, yeah I probably should not called this class menu when we started but no biggie so now when we hit our menu item right here it pops up a little menu for us with two menu items and these menu items don't do anything that's what we're going to set up in the next tutorial if you click them but uh, that's all that does so there we go um, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one